everybody. Um, today I am going to do a system test with some very, well, quite a few changes. Uh, first off, we have this cool point here, which is the Gen 1195, the newer style. So I was going to put it in place, uh, my other Gen 1195 that came on a, a similar time to this one, but I really even want to risk smashing the glass at this one, because you can see it's the sort of slightly rarer variant of the glass. And I have also lost the key for it, so I cannot test it with the key, I'm going to have to take it all apart and stuff like this. It's going to be interesting. So yeah, um, also, the panel, uh, the LEDs aren't working, that's uh, because I, I could just fix it right now, these wires are the wrong way around, I could just fix it right now, but I can't be bothered, so, no LEDs. Actually, it helps if you turn the panel on. Okay, so, I'm going to do the detectors first, get them out of the way, then I'm going to move on to the call point, because it's going to be effort. Also, the other changes are there's a viper up there on uh, alternating on the volume and then the squash knee on just the sweep toe because this squash knee only has two toes because I had to sweep up continuous because it's the stupid cheap little squash knee. If, if you view my channel for a while, you will know what a squash knee is. So, yeah, I think I'll test this far detector first. <laughs> Yeah, as you can hear, the squash knee's on quite loud. Oof. Yeah, this is on quite loud. Just clear that. Don't want any, don't want any real alarming happening. So I can't be honest today. This shed's an absolute mess. Partly why I can't find a gem key. There's a small chance it might be in the house though. Distracting me. Anyway, next detector. Series 65 in the middle. I'm just gonna hover over the button. Things are falling over. Oh, I didn't even. I always do that. Every single system test, I do that at least once. I just completely forget to unsilence. I can't reach that. <sighs> gonna fall. There's all the wiring. The detectors has already literally cleaned them out uh, just before the Easter holidays. And they're already disgusting again. I'm oh, sorry. Um, so yeah, that's fun. Next one. Make sure this is actually on. And uh, actually make, I'll actually go over to the Viper so you can hear it once I've activated this one. Nitani Volution I just sprayed there. Yeah. I really do need to figure out the wiring so that it turns off the detectors when you reset. But for now I just use the reset as silence. And uh, silence switch is, just doesn't get much use. It's got more relays in that panel now though. It's got like an access control key switch as well, which I'm yet to clear, and it's just sort of dangling there. But yeah, fake CCTV camera by the way, that's a, a new addition to the shed, and an LED bulb to just blind you. Yeah. So yeah, it's... I can't reach that. I'll tell you what, I waft it out with a... Alarm Sense Installation Guide for the just, um, Sound of Beacon Base. Don't know why that's just out. Um, then I'll unplug the fire alarm panel because I'm amazing. Yeah, the relays click off then. Uh, back on. Yes, yeah, so now the call point. That's going to be effort, actually. Switch that back on. So. When you open these cold points, you're meant to have the glass already in the um, active state. Uh, otherwise, you risk it falling out 
but I am willing willing to take that risk. So yeah, uh, I've got the um, glass in a dangerous position here. But as soon as I um, make this glass a little bit looser, the core point will activate and sound all the sounders. So no, I might as well just take the whole thing out. There we go. loud that but yeah this is how these core points work so when the test key goes in because this is when the glass is in its normal position the this sort of bar is in this position and then when the glass is like when the test key is inserted it basically goes up here and then just pushing this back and the glass because it rests on this piece here and this piece here and it goes like that up and then the glass will sit against this but the glass is under this this is a slider but it's basically just a switch Jen had to come up with a posh name for something because we're a posh company. So, yeah. Come on, take us. Yeah, this is, yeah, so this basically is always on the glass, it's like spring loaded. So. Yeah, as you pull that back and forth, it like does ting. Yeah, <laughs> I'm bad at explaining things. But yeah, that's going to be difficult to get a glass back in. In fact, it's going to be virtually impossible. So, oh be back when I manage that. There we go, that was a two-hand job. Um, yeah, so that concludes the system test um, with the banshee and the squash knee and the core point.